I'm an addict for sneakers. Shane McMahon is wearing fake Jordan 1s. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit clickbait, but it's not really. Shout out to all the wrestling fans out there. As you can see, Shane McMahon, Shane Mack is rocking some what looks to be Air Jordan 1s in his new figure. Thought it would be fun to shoot this video and do a quick discussion. What do you guys think about Jordan Brand putting out a Shane McMahon sneaker do you think that jordan branch should put out a shane mcmahon sneaker in my opinion it is well deserved he's been rocking with jordan brand since back in the days i remember when he even rocked the true blue threes and that was just classic and that was an ill match let me know in the comment box if you remember who he was wrestling and let me know what you think of Shane McMahon getting his own Jordan sneaker one day. We've seen Cause get his sneaker. We've seen tons of other people get their sneaker. Let me know what you think about a WWE wrestler getting his own Air Jordan model. Leave it in the comments. And it would have been dope if they were actually Air Jordans. I mean, I know, of course, they can't do that. But... And I thought it'd be fun to do this quick video. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're looking to cop this figure. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video. Two hours later. All right, so I got some new pickups. I just started buying pop figures. I was really trying not to start collecting them. But every time I go out, I just absolutely love them. So I started copping them. Uh, I'm going to show some of my latest pickups and then unbox this one right here. This is the first one I got, which is the... Princess Leia R2-D2 from New Hope. You see the hologram right there of Princess Leia. Rest in peace to Princess Leia. And this retailed for $30. It was a little expensive, I would say. But I just had to own it. Next is another Star Wars pop. And it was pretty expensive also, I must say. This right here was a Target exclusive. Let me take this out of the box. It's kind of hard to see this one. There we go. So we got Vader in the TIE Fighter. And I love it. I seen it at Target. I seen how much it costs. $30. It's, like, it's kind of ridiculous for this $30. Bucks. I mean, it's not even that big compared to like a regular box right there. Like, it's just, it's all packaging. You know, they just... Put it in this big box so it feels like you're getting more than what you're getting. But in all honesty, like, it could have fit in this box. And this is another pickup we'll get to. But all in all, I think it still looks pretty damn awesome. Give you a shot of the side. And on the back. And I like how the base is like the Death Star. I think that's pretty awesome too. And this is a Target exclusive. You can only get these at Target. Now the next one, you've seen it quickly. I had to get Ghost. This is a show that I was late to the party with. I started watching maybe three months ago. I would say three months ago, give or take. And I've just been binge watching like crazy with my wife. And I absolutely love Game of Thrones now. It, it's such a good, good show. I'm a little disappointed I caught it late, but at the same time, it's nice to just not have to, like, wait for next week and just binge watch and binge watch. Watch, like, three episodes a day, two episodes a day, depending on how much time I have during the week. And, man, I love the show. It kind of bothered me every time I would see one of the wolves get killed. And, you know, it just sucks to see that as someone who's a big animal lover. <laughs> But besides that, I gotta love Ghost, and I had to get this pop figure. I'm, I guess I'm gonna be collecting these things, but I'm gonna be really picky on what I get. And I'm gonna try to not have, like, hundreds and hundreds of pop figures. I know people that know me well, they're probably laughing right now. Like, Dallas, you're gonna have a whole wall of them soon. Uh, we'll see. I, I'm not really trying to, but I have fun getting them. And this one right here, I got over at HBO's website. And I've seen this at FYE, 
but when I went back, it was gone. And I wasn't on this episode yet, Battle of the Bastards. And man, it was so damn good, Battle of the Bastards. One of my favorite episodes so far. I'm on season seven now, episode two. But Battle of the Bastards was so awesome. They packed this really, really nice for people that really care about the boxes. I don't like the box really destroyed, but I'm not like too crazy with it. Oh man, this is so cool. So there it is. This was such a great scene and I love how they captured the scene right here toward the end where he has the shield and he's shooting and he's walking closer and closer to him. They did a great job on these, a really good job on them. So this is my newest pickup and I am happy with it. This one cost $19.99. Never bought from shophbo.com before. So I just had to sign up to the actual shop and then I was able to actually get 10% off. Let's a look at the back, Let's see some of the other figures. I was so annoyed when he died. I really started really digging the giant man. Like once he once he started rocking with Jon Snow, it sucked when he died. He actually has his own pop now. I really want that one. I want Bran to have to get Arya. Love Arya. She's so awesome. This is my favorite character. Her and Jon Snow. They're my favorite characters. I hope they never die. It's kind of like Daryl with The Walking Dead. If you watch Walking Dead. I need Walking Dead pop figures too. Like that's the one thing I want. I've seen one of Daryl on his bike. I really wanted that one. And I haven't seen it again since then. But um, that's really it. That's some of my pop figures I have. I have a few more. Let me show you some of my other ones while we're here. I got this pack right here with Greedo, Hammerhead, and Walrus Man. Absolutely love it. Like, Star Wars is so special to me. If you look even above right here, that poster is autographed by Carrie Fisher. Something really special to me, Star Wars. And it's my favorite movie, definitely. Like, movie series, Star Wars. So I had to buy this. I just I love how they came out. They look so awesome. I also bought both of these after I seen Rogue One. I was so blown away how good Rogue One was. I had to buy both. I was like, I have to buy both of these pop figures. It was just like a must have. Just because I just was so like, wow. I, I didn't expect Rogue One to be as good as it was. I know a lot of people did. They were like, oh, Rogue One's going to be the best. I would tell people, I don't know. It's either going to be a hit or miss. There's some stuff that I just wasn't digging. But a lot of the stuff that I wasn't digging in the trailer, they ended up removing from... It ended up working well. I, I absolutely loved it. And I have a couple of more. Let me show you. I got the New Day. Big wrestling fan. So this is another one that I have. I just love this three pack right here. With Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston. Definitely something I know wrestling fans are going to dig. And I have one more that I just recently got too. Roddy Roddy Piper, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He's got his hot rod shirt on with the kilt. Rest in peace to Roddy Piper. It's crazy. I met Jim Duggan like a couple months before he passed away. I actually did like a little interview with him. If you want to watch that, I'll put a pop-up somewhere on top of the screen. And he was talking about how him and Roddy became so close. It was a cool, cool video. Definitely watch it. But it's just a shame he passed away and he definitely will be missed but never forgotten for us wrestling fans. And that concludes today's episode. This is all the pop figures I have. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. Definitely thumbs up the video if you liked it and thank you. I also have my P.O. Box if you ever want to send something. You want to shout out. You want me to unbox something. Definitely check the description box below. Just a reminder, I have my signature Saucony sneaker. Yes, your boy designed his own sneaker with Saucony. It will release August 25th, should release at noon. Most of the people that are watching this video are subscribed and they are diehards when it comes to what I do. 
and I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Much love. I hope you enjoyed this vid. Please leave your comments. Check out all the other content. Of course, I have tons of different type of stuff on this channel. But for the diehards that are subscribed to my bigger channel, The Sneaker Addict, this shoe is probably going to sell out within minutes. So you got to be fast. I'm pretty sure they will release at noon, but I'm not 100% sure. I will know more on August 24th, the day before it releases. But set your alarm now on your phone for August 25th at 11.45, maybe even 11.30 in the morning so that you remember about this sneaker. You get to your computer, you log into the site first. Make sure you're logged in way before it releases so that when it drops, you can just check out right away. They will be $120 with free shipping. It does not ship overseas. I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. I designed the shoe and that's it. It's really up to the brand what they want to do. And I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Maybe they'll release more and they'll release it overseas. Because as I said, I have a big following overseas. Listen, I'm a guy from New York that just dreamed of having his own shoe. And it's really amazing that people want this sneaker that badly. And I really, really appreciate you guys. I love the bottom of the shoe right there. Most people do too. Uh, you know, I hope everyone that loves what I do is able to get the sneaker. And I thank you guys all once again. Without you guys watching my other channel, The Sneaker Addict, this opportunity would have never happened. And hopefully we can get more opportunities. You know, this is like a celebration for all of us. You know, without you guys watching, this would never have happened. So thank you for your support. If you're new here, welcome. And make sure to subscribe to this channel and The Sneaker Addict if you like sneakers. If you don't like sneakers and you just like stuff like pop figures and Star Wars, Game of Thrones, wrestling, some sneaker content, but not a lot of it, then you'll love this channel. This is a lot of fun. And that's it for today's video. We out.